Hello everybody, welcome to Happy and Glorious Game number 3 of the CNA, uh, which is a terrible name, but there you go, it's like a World Cup kind of thing. Um, it's Resurrection up against more Plovac, representing rest of Europe. This is the final game of the group stages. He has a pretty incredible Kemri team, I actually quite love his Kemri team, um, loads of skills, very, very scary. Um, and obviously mine are still the Necro with uh, terrible, a terrible roster, but five guard, which is really good. And a Claw Mighty, which might get lucky. Um, Commentary-wise, we have got Crystal Hunter, who is the captain of Team Europe, or whatever they're called. Uh, <laughs> Fime, <laughs> who's often here, and Calcium, who is an absolute legend. You guys can take it over, and I will try hard, despite it being not that relevant who wins. <laughs> take it away, boys. Hello, everybody. Here we are. Uh, me as the guy that's usually here. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a good game, I guess. For Ragnar yeah. also to play Kenry. He usually plays them on CL. And it's a really good team. Yeah, it's always it's always exciting to see the CNA matches uh, turn out because there's there's relatively like good matchups going on and it's it's all in good fun and uh, um good time watching this one. Um do you think calcium do you think um i do you know what when initially when you said more plovac plus kemri i think that equals shithead um but i actually really like this kemri build and we all know you know joking aside with more plovac we know he's a decent coach um we both know these coaches credentials jim has a proven track record of excellence um more plovac you know, he's the type, he reminds me of me a little bit insofar as he's the type of coach that you never really want to play because on any given Sunday, he can serve you up. Um, so uh, this is probably no more than a 60-40 one way or the other, depending on where your loyalties lie. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Jim has the advantage of having Claw in the world, but being able to Claw uh, to Guardian is be a hard job. Yeah, claw against regen. You know, um, I know it's yeah. resurrection anyway, so you don't care if anything dies. But for an individual game, you know, um, having a mass regen team. Um, so really, it negates both of their firepower to ex to an extent because more Flo more Plovac's got the same problem, hasn't he? You know, if one of the if if regen switches off one of these guys, that could be really pivotal in this game. Yeah. Uh, one, one one thing about more Plovax team is like um, we've been playing against like. Neko as well with with more Plovac in round one, and he he did he did notify me saying like well I feel quite comfortable playing against Neko uh, because I can c control them quite well with the two yeah. guardians in a way, and I said like well yeah if you feel confident about them like against about playing against them like we'll we'll try to get you in in that position like in in as many rounds as possible because you know everyone hates facing Neko in this format this is Neko is a super strong base in this format. Um, so yeah, like having someone to to deal with that is um, it's fantastic. Um. And more Flo Plovac has taken a DP, which of course I've got a lot of time for. You know, yes, yes. <laughs> the team is uh, very um, tight. Yeah, it's a decent bench, isn't it? It's thirteen player bench, you know, two player bench, DP. Yeah, I'm. Oh God, I hate saying it, but I really like this Kemri reading. Here we yeah, go. Like I think it has some chances. Yeah, we'll it does. Yeah, there's nothing on either team that's a real standout here that looks like it's going to shift the balance of power one way or the other, you know? So. Fearsome. The fearsome line of scrimmage hits have begun. <laughs> I always hate this part. I just hate this part. Um, the first turn is just horrible. No. So, so Jim's going to feel like crap, right? If he does three LOS hits and doesn't break armor once, he's going to feel like crap straight away. Yeah, it's because it's armor seven, right? Like, yeah, uh, yeah. This is like oh, hitting line rats and nothing happens. <laughs> there you go, nothing happens. That's it, tilted. <laughs> I said, drop the LGG, Jim. Drop the LGG. It's over. Yeah, that's a funny thing. You actually always feel, when you feel like facing armor 7, you always have a feeling like, well, I have to at least remove one of them, right? And it's a lot of yeah. situations where that is simply isn't the case. 
I don't like what Jim's done here. He's given a palm hit on this white. Um, so I say I, that the wolf palm hit, will be palm hit the... The wolf. More playbacks going for the wolf. Of course. Yeah, yeah, Maybe. so... So what Morplovak has to worry about here is a little bit, a, a little bit here is is to still hold the center a little bit with the Tomb Guardians as much as he can. Um, those are the players that ha that Jimmy has to go around um, when when he switches sides, so to speak. So like he's gonna have to control the center like he does here with the two players um, on the center and the center right. And now he's come, gonna come in with the mighty blow pipe yeah. on right on that werewolf. Yeah, I don't like how Jim gave that up. Don't like how Jim gave that up there. Oh, massive. There you Isn't go. It injury? Uh, regen though, isn't it? Yeah, really, yeah. yes. But, out for the drive. It is out yeah. for the drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, the good news for Jim I'm... is more Plovac has committed to that. So he's yeah. got four players on the left-hand side and it's not difficult to screen off Kemri. So I think Jim will probably exploit that right now. Not only that Calcium, but isn't that like Mighty Blow piling on surfable in a way? Like maybe, uh, maybe there's a way there to hit there with the guard first. And... It needs, yeah, it would need a lot of commitment. I don't think Jim is interested in putting that level of commitment in. Yeah. No, he's absolutely, he, I don't think it was even an option in his head. I think Jim's just looking to switch to the right. Um, and, you know, run away from the claw palm. His last action will be dodging that white out. It's just moving to the right, yeah. Yeah, this is smart play from Jim. You know, obviously, using the uh, Mighty Blow Claw, Werewolf is bait. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> oh, does that work? Yeah. Yeah. I really like, I really like that more for didn't stand up the skeletons. So now, so now Camry have to work in a bit of a relay system, right? So what the Camry has to do, like they have the center, center Tomb Guardian here. That one has to move as far to the right as it possible, possibly can to take over the right um, section from the center right Tomb yeah. Guardian, so to speak. And then you, then you just return to the center with the other two Tomb Guardians. Make sure you, you make it really hard for um, Jimmy to get through. And then he's forced to basically switch sides again. Um, or commit. That's one of the two things we'll, we'll see here. I don't actually hate Jim scoring in two, three, four turns, well, three or four turns here. Um, you know, he's playing against Kemri. He's faster than Kemri, more agile than Kemri. So I, I think given the early werewolf removal, I can see Jim scoring in about four, maybe five here and then push him for the second touchdown. I think that's one of the things that, that uh, you know, that's... Um, Great coaches from cuts apart. Great coaches from good coaches, like knowing when to actually um, do things like scoring and that kind of thing. Like a lot of people are so always sticking to one plan and saying like you have to score on score on turn eight, right? And yeah. I don't think yeah. I don't think that's always the right plan. Um, it's a bit of an e e e yeah idealistic plan where you know you expect everything to go right and then you can score on turn eight. Yes, but... That stun is huge. I think that's going to change. Jim, Jim may not push on the right now. That stun Massive. is pretty yeah. huge. Yeah, those. The, the, so that was a pretty good recovery turn from Morplovac. I thought he got caught slightly out of position, but he has recovered pretty well. Yes, yeah. uh, it's, uh, now Jimmy has to sink. Looking good. Oh, for, 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 <laughs> for us, it's looking good, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed to be a little bit biased, Crystal. You're allowed to be a bit biased. I know uh, you're you're one of the most measured, balanced people in Blood Bowl, but I mean, you know you're allowed to represent your team here. It's all good. It feels it feels weird because nine out of ten times when I when I would be here, I would you know happily you know support Jimmy and and you know be like cheering for Jimmy and all that. And you know it feels weird to be on the other side for once. But yeah, that's, that's what this competition does. Of course, it's a yeah. thing. Um, for anyone who's wondering, like, still wondering, like, what the team was about, like, we had to select a team from coaches that weren't in any of the other teams, so we couldn't pick anyone from Team England, or from England, we couldn't pick anyone from France, from Spain, 
uh, we had all the small countries that we had to pick from 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 the European yeah. countries. And um, I think like even though we didn't do like oh. really well, I think we had a we still have like a really nice team. Like um, considering we had Hestor and Lucy, a more Plovac and um, um, Thomas T joining me. So. Lovely, lovely team of people. Um, Sally just not fortunate enough in the early rounds to really somewhere. That's Blood Bowl, isn't it? Yep. You know, so. I thought he was going to blitz the Guardian in the left. Well, I actually thought Jim was going to claw the mummy on a 2D and then yeah. chain the other mummy off. Um, that's what I thought Jim was setting up for. Now, whether he decided to change his mind mid-turn or not, you know, I guess we'll only find out post-game. But... But the stun on the Tomb Guardian here is pretty big as well. Gives Jim some pivot op uh, um, options for the next <laughs> turn. Like... Yeah. But he could actually choose to pivot to one of the uh, weakened flanks if, if more Plover chooses to weaken them. That's the best turn Tomb Guardian. Um, I'm gonna see a blitz on the on the white here. Yeah. Why the guard? So more Plover hunting for value early on, instead of going for hits without um, oh, on blockless players. Oh, these these well. armor breaks are killing Jim right now. <laughs> the pals with the armor breaks, they're they're everyone is hurting. Yeah, I I I am I'm getting more convinced that this is a quite a good matchup for Camry actually. Well it is right now. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I I get what you're saying. Um you know Basically, Morflovac is positioning his players. He's got control of this half, hasn't he? Oh. Jim Jim needs to get something going over the next couple of turns. It's a push. Send from Holtz, of course. I, I think he'll take the push. Him. He'll take the push here, won't he? Yeah, he can he can free himself from the Tomb Guard. Yeah, that yeah. It wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Like, it would be... Oh, there's a stand firm. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't hate the stand firm. But you know, obviously, you were. You caught me making a cup of tea there. <laughs> That's what I call tryharding. I'm getting fucked here, by the way. This is absolutely stupid, isn't it? Absolutely fucking dice and so far. So yeah, um, necro dwindling on numbers here, like. For the flies. I've removed flesh column removed. Um... And what's worse for Jim is the fact that all but three of his players are locked. You know, um, yeah. I, I don't like. I don't like what Maplo more Plovac's done with the tackler. I get what he's done. Kept him central. Kept him back a little bit. Um, if he'd been forward a little bit more, I think it would have been fine. No, I think it's right where uh... he keeps him. He's still a. It's a minor, it's a minor quibble, you know. Um, more Plovac has played a really solid half, and he's it's, had good dice, and he, you know, it's. It's really difficult to say because, like, you know, um, I think the the one big thing for Jimmy is, of course, like he still has like a, a, a multitude of mobile players, like movement seven, movement eight, right? Yeah. And as you can see, like he's you now he's now picking the side with those with those more mobile, mobile players. So you gotta have that player ready to react on it if, if things go massively wrong. And, yeah. Um, this is this is that moment. Well, well, I go massively wrong if things, you know, if he moves forward like this. Um, you don't want that to happen. So now he is in a position to either hit like the front goal or the ball carrier. Yeah. If he really wants to. Um, actually, leaving, uh, not taking the pushback with the flesh golem. Oh God, that sucks. <laughs> that's that's uh, I think. Yeah. If that flesh yeah. golem goes down, then. Um, more Plo yeah. Problem with that is more Plovic can release two skeletons now. Yep. Although I, it it may not have been difficult for more, Plo more Plovac to release them anyway, you know. Um, but yeah, Jim's up against it. Um, 
you know, guarded potato on the left hand side, <laughs> a tactical potato. <laughs> I think yes, I think the guard the uh, ghoul is getting hit. Oh yeah, yeah, he's getting smashed. Yeah. Big the big problem is I don't think Morplova can can cover the side fully here, the wing. So like the the ball carrier is coming through, but the ball carrier can't score yet. So there's also that. Oh, oh nice look at that. chain. Cheeky little chain. That could have been worse than a than a than a than a power, I believe. If that, if that was no no, he, he doesn't have a continue. Yeah, he does have a continuation push. Like if he if he had a push there, he could have uh, pushed the tomb guardian onto the werewolf again with the with the other skeleton. You see that? Powers for days. More Plovac re refusing to roll below a five. <laughs> that's the big one. That's a big one. Well, he has to reroll. He has to reroll to get the power. So. One, two, three, four. I guess you can. I guess, I guess giving the the tomb guardian next some movement is pretty nice here as well. Generally, like you now he has more movement to actually cover the site if he wants to. You so um. So you move the skelly. You move the skeleton diagonally against the tackler. And then you GFI. Okay, um, I, I think I'd have preferred close to close the door with a yeah, but that's guard, all right. And on the back, you can you can go around the back with the with the. Oh. Yeah, I would have gone around the back with the Tomb Guardian. Yeah, but it's fine. There's nothing really really wrong with it. Jim could get out with a minus two D here. You know, channeling his inner chunter, rolling those <laughs> minus two Ds. Yeah, that would be that would be amazing. But the only problem is, like as I stated, like Jim can't score yet. Um, so like even if you would roll the uphill there, and if he would run into close to the end zone, it's not quite the end zone. Yeah. And the tackler is right there waiting to to hit him. So there's there's a lot of problems here. So what's better here, um, the werewolf blitz with the four plus three plus one D, or the straight minus two D into the dodge? I think the straight minus 2D is better. Like the straight minus 2D is 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 like um, is like a three plus dodge, isn't it? So you do that, you follow that in, and then you can actually uh, um, go for that. Um, it's difficult because you know, like even even if Jim would be thinking like, oh, I have to move back here. Like if he moves back, he loses all momentum. I don't think <clears> he can generate another attack if he moves back. Boom. But he has to do this. He has yeah, to do this. Yeah, yeah. I I think he had to do this as well. And if the Tomb Guardian had been there, he would have still got whacked <laughs> yeah. with those guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So a four plus three plus here. Lock oh. up the. He's got to lock up the tackler. I think we'll see that. As, as rotten as it is for uh, for Jimmy, because you know that's that's a that's a mighty blow tackle on the wall. Yeah, I think I think yeah. blow is gonna take. Absolutely, that. absolutely had to lock up the tackler there and take one for the team. Uh, Jim throwing his second wolf <laughs> <laughs> but, as bait. But the thing is, like you can still you can still look for a power with the with the throw right here. It's it's you know it's not a sure thing. It's scary. This is a whole, this is this is definitely a scary situation for Jim now. Like um, even with that marked mighty blow. Uh, around a fifty percent with a reroll to put a power in for dice. No. Something like that. Uh, maybe even more. We're gonna we're gonna have to see how it um how it all works out. Is the power on the werewolf? Is the stun on the werewolf? <clears throat> So being super critical, um, I think that was an error on more Plovac's part. You know, I, I, the dice were really kind. So in hindsight, you could say, look, oh, oh of course he rolls pals. What are we talking about? More Plovac is just too damn good. <laughs> I, did, I did call that. I did call that. But that, that I didn't call. The catch I didn't call. That was sick. Wow. That is sick. This is some next level shit being displayed by Team Europe right now, isn't it? God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Maybe I should have double GFI so I wouldn't have had any movement left, like, you know, in case of a scatter, but um, I wanted to have the reroll for him potentially, because there was, there was two dodges, wasn't there? But I guess I should have double GFI'd with a curve. Never mind. It's over now, innit? It's over. Sorry, sorry, Team England. <laughs> totally outplayed with uh, a. <laughs> 
<laughs> with all these removals instantly on my drive as well. Ridiculous. So for anyone who's wondering, like we have the we have we have this game we have my match today, but we also tomorrow have um more game which is Thomas T's Dark Elves versus Wolf Park's Dark Elves, which is a, a, a mirror matchup basically. Um, which is gonna be an interesting one as well because um normally Rick would play that but he's not feeling good. Uh, so like um he's, he's feeling a bit ill I think so he, he got replaced by, by Wolf Park for the game. Um, on Fleshy here. Olaf Dodge, the DT player, our level. You know what the scary thing is? Like, can we actually have enough time to score? <laughs> it's just. That's just oh, quite scary. what? <laughs> yeah, with, with all, the, all the GFIs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Three GFIs. I'm, I'm counting. I'm five, today. isn't it? Five three, GFIs. Four, five, six. No, because you start now with six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, no, four, it's, I, five. Four? Six. I'm not. I'm not actually counting them. I'm just guessing. Three, three GFIs. Okay. That's just what I'm counting, at least. Yeah, three Might GFIs. Three yeah. GFIs. <clears throat> so that's that's not even that's not even unrealistic, right? Like that is three GFIs in with two reels. <coughs> <clears throat> well, on the bright side, Jim, can't get a lot worse second half. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you will be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I know. Famous last words they are, aren't they? <laughs> Just when you think Blood Bowl hasn't shafted you enough. <laughs> More Plovac so confident right now. He's going to mug Jim off by doing a long bomb to a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's a little bit uh, rowdy for conservative Moplova. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's probably the only he's he's probably the only coach in my group that I would consider a conservative coach out of all the coaches that I have in my team. Um, the other ones are, are aggressive <coughs> not cases, but like they they usually play like the craziest plays. Uh, Oplovac is the more conservative of our, uh, of our group, so uh, let's just it out a little bit. Um, two GFIs have already been made. And uh, we need one more. The way more Plovac's rolling right now, he could make 10 GFIs and make them, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not to say he hasn't played well, because he has, but the one his dice have been insane. I think I think you see multiple things of this. Like there's multiple elements to this, right? Um, it's it's <coughs> it's a mix of you know um, you know the the dice have been massively fortunate. I agree with you on that, uh, calcium. There's also an, a, a factor of you know leaving the big prize player, yeah, the, the absolutely, open in, in turn one and leaving that leaving that kind of value off the pitch immediately after turn one can be devastating. But there's also Racial matchup. I still feel like I'm, I'm I'm getting more and more confident that this is actually like a <coughs> matchup that no, I don't. I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying like Kenry should win. This no, yeah, I, I think you've got. I think you've got something there. Um, you know, they 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 feel comfortable comfortable in this kind of game. Like they, you know, they see a bunch of strength fours and strength threes, and they they don't see any, really anything that can topple their tomb guardians that well. It's a nice matchup for them. Oop. Oh, and that's it. Yes, also the Camry has five mighty blows. Yeah, like a massive amount of mighty blow that you can get on the Camry. Oh, that's a lot of firepower. They have and the if it uh, works, 
They have the regen, they have fixed kill all around, or basically all around. Yeah. Tons Almost of strength, all. tons of guard at this uh, TV. That's uh, really, really strong. Yeah. The weakness that Kenry has, that's decay. It doesn't matter because it's a uh, resurrection format. Yeah, yeah I, 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 basically on ratio matchups, I definitely learned something here with uh, with this uh, with this whole thing. <coughs> Good to learn something every now and then. This is. Nice oh, Jim is going to. Couldn't even. <laughs> couldn't even get the surf. Jim shitter confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Not even rolling. <laughs> uh, Jim can't complain about his dice now. He got double pass. Like, yeah, that's it. That's complain. it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, clearly. Yes. The, and another one. One dice. Ow. Oh, what a dice. Oh, jeez. Jim in two pow shocker. <laughs> now make this a, I'll make this a three dice more blowback. I just actually make this a three dice because you know don't want a quad skull here. Uh, if he's going to blitz, he has to uh, go for the three dice. Yeah, if you blow piling on three dice on the zombie there, like very straightforward. Got in a bill. Hasn't endured any full game of uh, Jimmy's uh, run here. Managed and to survive. Surely we'll see the score here. Yeah, what, that is, what else to do? <laughs> yep. Well, okay, so bit. close to the first half. Jim's in a wide, wide world of shit. <laughs> but now he has the whole team. He has the, the full team. And if Morpova doesn't manage to pick up the ball or something, you know, this those can rethink yeah. could be uh, very good for him. Like I might, I might seem a bit of an ass, like picking, hand picking these uh, these matches because of of the pattern I noticed on Team England. But if you know, like I, I when I said before against Jimmy, and I said like, well, see this as a warning signal. Like I, I hope, I hope England still will make it into the playoffs regardless of the result in this uh, in these matchups. <coughs> because you know, like I, I, I love the guys that are on Team England and and the, and the lady that's on Team England, like wonderful people. Um, but you know, like if I can do this kind of thing. Your opponents will be looking at these patterns as well and think like, oh, maybe they'll keep it this way and then they'll start adjusting to it. So like, it gives it gives Team England something to think about. No way. I do like the higher TV format of this competition. Yeah, yeah it's uh, high but not too high, but they still the teams yeah. have uh, tools. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sounding a little bit more chipper. Yeah, uh, I am just like it's good to see us winning for once. You know, like uh, we haven't seen that too much in this. <laughs> okay, this all is not lost here, is it? So obviously, I'm the counterbalance to Crystal Hunter's clear bias in this booth. You know, yeah. very professional as always. Very professional. <laughs> um, Jim just has to chip away at a couple of skellies here. So I I wouldn't necessarily be looking to get too involved with the Tomb Guardians. Um, Tomb Guardians don't score touchdowns. Uh, it's, it's, it's part of FPC, like, you know, um, in in a way, you know, like, I I know it's the way it is, you know, like, and uh, if if didn't want to rely on the dicing to get us eliminated or anything, if you wanted to prevent that, you should have simply played better in the previous rounds. And <clears> we should have been a little bit more lucky maybe in the previous rounds, but we should have had a better better position before we face Team England, right? And, um, you know, you getting a, a, a lucky streak of dice, ruining our run, yeah, this, it is what it is. And, um, oh. yeah, it's, it's that simple Sea Shark. That's, that's, that's a bit of truth in that. <laughs> um, um, just on a fun side note, the Jimmy Fantastic logo looks absolutely fantastic on the back of his jerseys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are we... Are we are we doing a merchandise conversion? Now? Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, merchandise is available. <laughs> Just go to jimmyfantastic.com. Are you are, you're making sure you're getting your five percent provision? Yeah, uh, jimmyfantastic.com oh, forward slash fucked by Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, 
It'll be another three months before Jim invites me back into the commentary booth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, man. Hopefully, yeah. we'll see a solid drive for more. <laughs> well, uh, not not hopefully for, for Team England, of course, but. Here comes we'll the dreadful. Ah, yes, pick up with a six, okay. establish dominance. More Plovak once again refusing to roll below a five. Um, a proper coach there. Just when Jim's in the position where he really literally needs more Plovak to roll a bag of dog shit, um, more Plovak says, nay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. It's like, that's the funny thing about Camry, isn't it? Like, they, they are, like, everything is edgy too, but at, at the same time, you know, because they have their sheer hands and all that, they are more solid than they seem. Um, you've got to realize, like, it's still like a 75% pickup on those, on those pickups. And, Tell know, that to my bloody have... human throwers, Crystal. Seriously. <laughs> really? Are you missing so many uh, oh, sure hands pickups? I well in the last chalice, didn't I? I'm my sure hands thrower for six turns refused to pick up the ball. I yeah. think someone worked calculated the odds and it was like six or seven thousand to one. <laughs> insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, that that kind of thing, you know, it happens every now and then. It's uh, horrible when it does. I guess we're going to see another Mighty Blow Tackle hit on the Wolf now. Like... I think the, that's the play. Yeah. I do feel they're, they're soaking up too many hits. Oh, look! Oh, I don't, know, I don't know about the re-roll there. Don't know about the re Well, I, I, guess, I guess he was sat on four, so With the re-roll isn't horrible. I was a great roll every day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're, you're taking a both down, both down sequence as well, right? Which makes it really hard to prevent the surf there. Now it's sort of, sort of helpful that you can push in the guard there and you can actually make that surf a one D. Max. But like I understand the re-roll. like because it was like um, it was like a one and nine, right? So you had to stay in position. Not only a greed reroll there, it's also a positional reroll. Uh, was it? Was it a? No, he had block. So yeah, yeah. I I don't hate it. Um, as I say, he had a bit of reroll redundancy, uh, reroll equity, if you like. Yeah. I get prevents a surf on the skeleton here now. Hopefully, oh, not hopefully for Jim, of course. Jim wants to surf that uh, that fucker. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know if the surf is on here. Uh, um, if he wants to roll all the minus two Ds, he could surf a Tomb Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> He's only yeah, going for it. <laughs> I'm going for it. <laughs> Unlucky. He only went for it. <laughs> the balls on Jimmy, fantastic. <laughs> those were those were those were forty four percent odds to actually get the push there or better. So yeah, push, about forty. It was 44%. a very good chance with without a reroll. Um, Sixty something percent with a reroll, just for the statistics. Um, Phil the Dutch. Ugh, that was yeah. so rowdy. I want to take my shirt off and shirt copter seriously. Yeah, but you know. Jim is in, in desperation mode right now because, you know... Yeah, like, he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I actually like that play. You know, um, yeah. I think Jim needed to do something big to get some momentum going. So, yeah, I've, I've got time for that. <laughs> Purple chest. This is starting to look like a walk in the park for Robak. <laughs> well, me and, uh, you know, PC, uh, me, me and Calcium Cass have been hanging out for, uh, for for a bit of a longer time, you know? Like, uh, yeah, it's been a while. Although me and me and PC go straight, uh, go way back on Fumble. Um, obviously, PC is one of Fumble's most famous exports. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
I'm, I'm just saying it's not the first time we do commentary or anything together. Yeah, so yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> 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 we might take some things over from each other. That's that's the thing. Uh... I feel like I'm cheating on you both because I bo I say to both of you, you're my favorite Blood Bowl coach. You know, depending on who's on stream. Um, so, you know, it's pretty much like what I tell my kids. Yeah, you're my favorite son. <laughs> I have to spread over five, you know, so. <laughs> Carlos is famous for his uh, brown nose in his skills. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Um, no, as long as long as, as people just enjoy um for the play that you know that I do on stream or, in the, or anything like if they're if they're around, oh good. Um. Not a power on the werewolf. Like I said, I, I do feel like during the game um, the werewolf have the werewolves have been exposed a little bit too much, but. No, it's hard to also hide them, isn't it? Like it's also really hard to. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think Jim has any option but to be rowdy with them. Um, Jim will be feeling quite lucky right now that that actually wasn't an armor break on the mighty blow wolf. <laughs> Luck confirmed. So Jim could chip this thrower here um, with the mighty blow. Re get get a removal. Uh, I see what he was trying to do there. He was opening up the lane here to, to just to get, get out, the, to go around the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. The ghoul. Yeah. yeah, good plan. Sadly, um, along with the rest of the game, the dice weren't equal to the task. Yeah. Now, yes, he's going. Mighty blow into the uh, tackler. Cool, be yes. Yeah, he set up the uh, frenzy. He's going to need it. Does he get the removal? Doesn't get the removal, gets the stun. Jim officially right. rolling his third power of the match. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them on the surf. On a failing, Charles. On a failing, Charles. Oh, you lucky bastard! <laughs> Oh dear. Uh. Well, the city ban is going to stay inside tonight in Darling. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to make like if 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 more Plovac wins this one, um, this is going to make the next match really big, isn't it? So that's going to like it's it's uh, determine whether we we win the round. Early or not, like if I win if I'm in my, my round, like we basically win the round already. Um, so, this is definitely going to have impact one way or the other. So yeah, barring a miracle here, um, Jim's going to lose this one. And so the pressure really is on Shawnee to uh, yeah. step up. Take yet another penalty because we're so good at them. <laughs> oh man, I'm looking forward to, to play against Shawnee. Um, I, uh, it's, it's one, he's one of my all time. He's one of my probably one of my favorite, if not the most favorite drive I've, I've had in, uh, in 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 Blood Bowl. And like any game that I played against him was just fireworks. It was just fireworks, you know. Like regardless of who won, he often won the games in Blood Bowl too. Yeah, um, it's always been fireworks. It's amazing. He's amazing, Shawnee, oh. and it's really it's doubly incredible because he genuinely does not give a fuck about this game. He just plays, and he's just superb at it. Just imagine how good he'd be if he actually cared. Maybe that's a trick, Kerry. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, next level strats. Yeah. Oh, more Plovac! Stop rolling, pals. Honestly. Even though it's academic right now, he's rolled a crap ton of pals. <laughs> the dice log will be uh, good viewing after this. Yeah, but probably it will be. Probably it will be. 
<clears throat> well, for one party anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey, so I just right. Been... Okay, <laughs> I hate this. Um, so he's given Jim a really outside chance here. Dodge the guard, yeah. ghoul. Yeah, yeah, base base the skelly and that werewolf hero play. So I do not like what more Plovac's done here at all. Um. <clears throat> Oh, you mean on the lower side here? So like yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Go. It's yeah, it's yeah. a it's really low odds. Okay, there's there's no question about that. If Jim is feeling super rowdy, he could dodge the zombie out to try and set up a potential two D. But I, yeah, I'm, I would be, I would be looking at something. Well, I don't know if, if Jimmy has enough players to fill that up, but I would be looking to, to at something like trying to chain push the prone right towards the ball carrier. Yeah, you actually you could minus two D the skeleton to open up the path for the ghoul to run round. So he has options here. Really, so when I when I said what I said, it was literally a snap look at it. And I thought, right, that's an option. So the ghoul is also an option. Either way, Jim's got to roll a crap ton of dice, right? He went for the zombie option. Yep. Yeah, his dice... So what did he roll? A 2-3. So yeah, his, his dice were going nowhere. Yeah, the chain. I mean, there, there probably was a chain option there, but with two minutes, so difficult to spot in it. And now the wolf is getting south. Yeah. The reality is, whatever Jim did there, he was destined to fail it. With a two and a three in the bank, it was going to fail. We know that the south is going to be to pole. Pause. I, I gave up there, to be honest. <laughs> no. Like the four plus was all right, wasn't it? There was a chance the yeah. chains weren't going to work because the fucking mummy's got guard anyway. There so you go. There's nothing I could do about it. Yeah, you've, you've been in a, you know, you've been in a, in a in a position where you you had to do something urgent for a long time now. For yes, a few yeah, I just got absolutely like... fucked. It was ridiculous. Like it's just ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? If you get diced, you get diced. That's it. More yeah, that's, that's it, good enough it. to not fuck it up. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and he didn't. And I, so I want to say that I called two paws on the surf. See, Jimmy, that's how you roll two paws in the surf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was able to roll some paws there. Good, good for the end of game. Uh, dice. Ah, I said rolling. Jimmy can't can't complain about the dice now. He rolled two paws there. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's gonna make the next few rounds interesting, like I said, Jim. We'll have to see um, what uh, what Shani does versus me, and then Thomas T versus uh, Roof Park. Yeah. <clears throat> I've done shit, I've lost two good games I... now, yes. But I mean, both times I lost, I was diced. <laughs> There's no doubt about it, so what can you do? Personally, like, I think the best chance we have is, is Thomas T winning there. Like, I think, I think Shani has a favorable racial matchup against me. I just really wanted to play against Shani. For such a long time, so like uh, that's why, <laughs> why I threw myself at him. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing is, like Thomas T and and uh, Boop Park having a mirror match with Dark Elves is quite good for Thomas T as a specialist, isn't it? Like, if usually, someone has been playing say. with Dark Elves, that's uh, Thomas. T. Yeah, I still I think Boop Park is just better than him. Yeah, except that that to time that Thomas T decided to play Necro. That's... Does that translate in every race? And that's that's the big question. I think it I think it translates enough. Like you know, like PC with dwarves, I wouldn't fancy somebody who I might have thought was better than him. I don't know who that would be with dwarves. I'd still fancy him with dwarves, but I don't think Thomas yeah. T is that good with Dark Elves. You know, I would put him a tier below uh, Wolfbark. So I think because Wolfbark's a tier above, even even though you know, Thomas T will be more experienced. I think Wolfbark is a higher tier coach, and I think Wolfbark will be favoured in that match. That's what I think. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, and it's not disrespectful of Thomas T, you know, I think he's good. I just think Wolfbark's really fucking good, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I you know, I, I have... Um, Wolfbark is, is one of my old clan mates in, in Rebel, so, like, I, I, I'd be the last one slagging him off. <laughs> 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 so, like, I know, I know how good he is, and... Um, no, 
you have a fair point there, but at the same time we're gonna have to see, right? Like we're gonna have to see that that game in action and see what they they will actually do against each other and see if they're not getting diced against each other. Like um, yeah. that's I mean they're obviously the both right. That's the thing, and everyone in here is good enough to win if they if they get much better dice. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. absolutely. No one, no one, no one in this competition is a clown you know that they're, they're, they're not gonna really do something stupid and let the other coach in they're gonna play as solid as possible you know this game has been entirely dictated by the dice but fair play to more blowback he's made no mistakes has he yeah he played a good turn two didn't he, he played a good turn two when he like yeah, he did recovered yeah. In that. Um, yeah but obviously he, you know he also made a removal turn two which helped shore it up as well <laughs> so it's yeah, yeah. like you know I gave I gave him the palm hit, but I mean he didn't need a cast, did he? You know, like he could have easily just not knocked down one not cast. Like they yep. were both reasonable results from giving up one hit in an entire match. <laughs> it know? snowballed. It snowballed really hard, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. So like you know, it's not as if I gave up a million hits on my wolves. It's just that they got hit and they got cast and they got hit and they got removed and it was just fucking bullshit. Like the the yep. ghoul got hit once, just instantly cast. Oh, Jimmy, you made a cast there. Hey. I don't know what you're complaining about. <laughs> hey. I don't know what you're complaining about. I see the cast yeah. box one player for each team. Comedy mega dicing confirmed. Yeah, yeah they were saying there are no clowns in the, in the ah, right. coaches here. They save the clowns for the commentators. <laughs> is it me or is he let Jim in here? No, he doesn't let me in. <laughs> you, well, you could you could do a PC and just uh, just obliterate him with the with the. With the I mean, that's what I've the... got to do, but it, he's not let me in. Well, we, when I say let in, obviously it's a very low odds chance, but it's a chance. Remember, kids, you roll enough sixes, you always have one D on the ball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but my point is, he should have zero D on the ball right now, shouldn't he? He didn't even need to push. Oh baby, oh baby. And there we go. I rest my case, Your Honor. <laughs> Look at that. I see it. Very nice, Jim. Do you know what? Ball recovery, past the zombie, zombie sprints oh, up the pitch. <laughs> How do you oh, like baby. those apples, more oh, blowback? It could happen. It could happen. It's happening. It's coming home. <laughs> No, that's the wrong way, Jim! <laughs> <laughs> that was your uh, scoring thread there! <laughs> it's a panic for Jim. <laughs> oh, for fuck, I can't even make a cunting blob! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! You should, you should 1D more, they're better than your 2D, uh, Jim. Yeah, aren't they? Here we go, look. Look at that, rolling a 6 on the dodge. My god. I mean, it's possible. It's definitely possible. <laughs> oh. Okay, now it's a little more complicated. <laughs> yeah, it's well, possible, to... isn't it? It's possible. It's hard to it was... this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, you know, the thing is, it's still like, you still have to be aware of the Camry pickup, right? Like, this is still pretty scary for Camry in a way that, you know, if they feel like a pickup or if they leave on the ground in a way, maybe Jim can do something still. It's always that little, little, yeah, a little bit of chance that they must be in there. If I was if more Plovac, I'd be uninstalling Blood Bowl 2 right now. <laughs> Just saying. If I was more Plovac, I would have conceded as the result didn't matter. Yeah. It would be nice to my good friend. Shame. Would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bell. Let's strip more Plovac down and walk him through the streets of fucking Stockholm or wherever. I don't know. <laughs> wherever. <laughs> <laughs> if I was Chunra, I'd be a good friend to Shawnee and concede and say, Well done, Team England. We can't qualify. You should. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a nice sign of a sportsmanship from the European Union uh, team. <laughs> yeah, no, only joking, of course, before anyone. Yeah, no, I know. I know, anything. I know. I, you know, I love you guys, but I, I got to do what I got to do. Like, <laughs> of course, of course, you've got you've to try your hands. Yeah. He is, yeah, Croatia, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, Croatia is the, the magic land of Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Incredible. All right, easy. Easiest touchdown of my life here. Maybe. How'd you get that? Let's go back. Oh, you mother! <laughs> <laughs> 
Grande. Fuck! <laughs> oh, the scatter. Oh, lucky pro back there. <laughs> Jim, Man. stop being shit, alright? No, <laughs> I was a four plus, four so plus. bad at this game. <laughs> Only got one reroll as well. Four, four, well, I'm, I'm, five, I'm taking notes. Four. I'm, I'm, I'm taking notes how to uh, how to one D against Shawnee in the next game. <laughs> <laughs> like that, look. <laughs> See, what I mean. That's freaking amazing! Oh, that's, that's a lovely removal. <laughs> oh dear me. So the big thing Jim has going for him is like, you know, can't really do anything about the scoring threat. So it's always going to be there, no matter what. Um, might mean that, that, that there's always a chance, no matter what. Yeah, I'm going for the scatter there. So, oh shit, look at that scatter. Uh, it could have scattered the opposite direction, just saying. If I helpful scatter for us, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there were so many good squares there, weren't there? Three, four, five good squares. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have fallen in case of the catch and then I could have uh, dodged out, I guess, and just tried to screen him a bit. It was still going to be the scoring throw. Oh, good. <laughs> it'd, been a, it'd been a while without a removal, hadn't it? You know, I've got to keep up the ridiculous Kaz rate. <laughs> More Plovac potentially burning up a bunch of sixes. Once again, refusing to roll below a five this game. Yeah. It's not that ridiculous, obviously. He's got a lot of mighty blow on that. But it was just like the initial hit being a Kaz was pretty stupid. And then obviously that initial foul being a Kaz. This is, where this is, this is, this is kind of the game. Like this, this amount of gas is kind what of. What was he doing would... taking that block? I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a non block block. Oh, you got away with it, honestly. Makes me well, sick. He still, he still have the roll, and what having you, the what, with, which you you know didn't want for the pickup. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. In this, case, in case, is, in case kind of you fail piece. the pickup, I mean it was more easier to uh, get the uh, goal in a complicated square like the one it was, even if it was in a pow. That would be more. To justify that bullshit. <laughs> that was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Honestly. No, because for Brock didn't need to score. He was already winning 1 0. <laughs> European coaches, so crap they have to band together to form a half competent yeah. group. Seriously. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, about? absolutely horrible. We, we all know, though, if Jim did it, it would have been brilliant. GG, <laughs> <But, laughs> um, yeah, more Plovak, anyway. It was, a, it was a great turn that you played um, while it was still a game. <laughs> no, but this is, this is the game. The kind of attrition that we had here, like this is the kind of thing we would have expected in a Purple Chess versus Hestron game. Like I felt like with the Purple Chess and Hestron game, you, you didn't see like any attrition at all, right, at the start. Like that was, that felt really weird and... Kind of uh, no, because it's only Claw Mighty. You can't, you, can't, you can't expect a lot of attrition in any of these games. This is yeah. a lot of attrition. This is four Kaz and three KOs. That's that's a fucking lot. Like that only happens when you're down a lot of men and you're giving up extra blocks for no reason because you've just got guys, you know, Kaz instantly. Like it's yeah. really, it's really is unlikely. It's, this is this isn't unlikely, is it? What a Kaz and a couple of KOs. It's about you know because it's hard for me to hit people even though I had five guard. But once I lose guard, which I can't, you know, stop them hitting anybody really. Right? I can't yeah. stop my guys getting pawned. So I'm going to take hits, and then it's really hard for me to hit back if I lose guard. So it's like, I can't really afford to lose any of my positionals. There's like, there's eight positionals that I can't afford to lose any of them. So... It's a big problem with Neko, isn't it? It's sort of the same problem that's going oh. to Well, for this, for this fight, for this fight especially. Just right, so I wasn't going to say anything during the setup, <laughs> but... Um, setting up a wolf far side for a riot might have been a thing. No, no, this is better, isn't it? I guess you can punch your way through as well, can't you? I mean, you? So... it doesn't matter anyway because I've lost, but yeah. You see it though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't see the score 2 0 there. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was 1 0. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, moot point. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Move on. Calcium shitter confirmed. <laughs> I mean, I could have just not even bothered trying, but screw it, might as well. 
for the touchdown difference there. Yeah, if it matters, I don't I don't know the touchdown difference matters, but I guess I should try for the team just in case it does matter. Yeah, good plan. It's, it's not gonna matter in the direct position in the division, but maybe in the fair places scheme of things. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. I didn't care that much to find out, but uh, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, it might do. That's why I just made a point of saying in BBSL that touchdown and Kaz different doesn't matter, so that nobody oh. would waste their time in a fucking res tournament trying to, you know, maximize Kaz or touchdowns. Actually, actually, hold on. Spain, Spain doesn't have to win their round against France, do they? Like they actually can lose the last two games, last three games. No, because then we'll two be games. above them because we we won. And they've only Spain have uh, only won once, right? They only beat you. Yeah. So if they lose to France, then they've got two losses and a win. We've got two losses and a win, but we'll have a better we'll have a better game difference than Spain, I'm sure. How do you know for sure? I'm just sure we will. <laughs> 21 armor breaks. So we yeah, I mean, like, uh, we, we, we fucked might... them, so I'm, I'm sure we'll have a better one. If they, if they lose, I'm yeah, pretty sure they, we're guaranteed to have a better one. They fucked us really hard because we're in the Well, you shouldn't they, have they lost left. to Spain. You've done the complete opposite thing of a friend here. <laughs> 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 anyway. Give me roll seven uh, powers and seven schools. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> Perfectly balanced dice there. There is no. no more sixes than ones. So, yeah. Mm. Good job. Good job. More blowback. Well done, buddy. Very, very solid game. Mm. Um, a lot of removals on, on Jim's side. I have to agree. But at the same time, you know, you got to play it out as well. So, uh, well done. <laughs> 30 dodges I made. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? When 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 Necro have to attempt thirty dodges, something's gone seriously fucking wrong. Yeah, three kills, five very, kills. That's, that's a lot. Very very happy you managed to uh, to to get that one, uh, Blovek. And um, you know maybe maybe we can end this one on a high note. Would be nice. See yeah, if, uh, if, if, if England can end this one on a high note, it'd be lovely. Yeah, Chumna. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm so gonna hear it if, if, if you know, if if, um, <clears throat> if if the fair places aren't gonna fall, fall out well, or, or am I like I'm gonna hear that on the, on the Discord? You're just gonna lose every single fight you ever have in JFW, <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You won't shit at all, more plover. You, uh, you know, the, as I said, the the one turn when like well. Arguably two turns when the when the game was like still a game. First turn you pommed a a wolf, which was fair enough. Like you know, it was hard for me to not. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have made the three dices. I guess there was no real need to make three dices, but I just wanted to make three dices, and I guess I should have not made three dices, and then it would have just been zombies and fleshies. But then I also don't, don't lose a fleshy either, do I? I? Don't just want to get a fleshy pom. So it's fucking pretty hard. And I thought at least that would be a tempter so I can go the other side. So then you played well the one turn that mattered when you actually followed me over and uh, you know and, and then shut that down. Although obviously a, a second removal helped. Um, <laughs> but it just is what it is, isn't it? And then after that it was pretty much over and it was just. I thought I thought more played pretty solid yeah, right up to do. about turn twelve. And then he shit the bed. He had more holes in his defense than a Swiss cheese factory, you know. <laughs> so, uh, honestly, uh, but you know, so yeah, up till then. Um, uh, but he did roll a lot of pals, you know. Yeah. Very difficult to beat a player like more blowback, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. After that, obviously, that. he's he's going to do everything right, isn't he? And like, yeah, probably took the foot off the gas and left some like stupid dice rolls on. Like, that's easy to do, right? When you're dominating a game, and you yeah, know, yeah, it, it, it is. Everyone, everyone does that. Thanks, yeah. Rochelle. And uh, yeah, down with Chunter exactly. Sat there. What a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you very much, Chunter. Thank you very much, Fami. Thank you very much, Kaz. Okay. So you're welcome. I'm, I'm looking at doing that. And if, uh, if you want to have. We've just got to wrap up the YouTube video. Sorry, Chunter. <laughs> Sorry. 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 <laughs> right. um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.